2022, and we're about to go to a Louis Vuitton cocktail party, but we're gonna try out this. I have been getting so many requests for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liquid Blushes. This is the matte formula. Everyone is ranting and raving about these. They're gasping for air. They can't breathe. So bitch, we're gonna try it. All right, here is what the packaging looks like. Very typical Charlotte Tilbury, very cute and luxury, but for $42, $42, you get this. Oh my God, it's a liquid blush formula, of course. Once you take it off, the applicator looks like this. We all know you click it, and of course, it's supposed to come out. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna, of course, go put foundation on. I wanna try this formula on wet foundation. Of course, it's a liquid product, it's gonna go bam. Um, but here's the texture. It looks matte, it looks pigmented, so let's see how the fuck it looks on my face. Okay, foundation is wet and she is fucking sitting. So we're gonna try Miss Peach Pop. Now there's only four colors uh, for this formula. So girl, oh my God. All right, the most satisfying part. We're gonna do Miss Peach Pop and here she is. Now it is a lot of product comes out here. They said a little goes a long way. So, oh no, we need more than that, bitch. Okay, we need more than that. There is not a lot of product in here. Like girl, can we finally get some out? There she goes, there she goes. Oh. Oh, we're doing one, two, because the girl said, the girl's just saying that she's very highly pigmented. Let's go. Oh, it already sheared out, like bam, bam, bam. Okay, she's blending, she's blending. Now I like to put the cream blush into the concealer and blend, blend, blend. Obviously we're gonna do powder later. That sheared out like quick. Okay, uh, it's, it's a little sheer, but I mean, <sighs> Need a little bit more, you guys. Like, bitch, this it blended out really pretty, obviously. But I think I need four dots, bitch. Go big or go home. Oh, there we go. I think Jeffrey Lynn needed a second layer. Wow, I had no idea what to expect. Bitch, it's pretty. Highly requested to try the red one. If I don't try this, y'all are gonna get mad at me. So let's go. Now this would be amazing on deep skin tone, but baby, we're gonna see. Woo! That's a lot of product, Miss Thing. Fuck. Oh my God. Whew. Okay, ready? <gasps> Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, I was scared of this color. It's actually blending out really nice, especially on top of this wet foundation. Okay. It's pretty. Okay, makeup is done. Bitch, I'm shook. It's pretty. Hello. Bitch, it's time for another makeup review. Let me put on my diamond dommers. And baby, today we are trying out this Peter Roth fucking primer that you guys keep asking me to try. It's, I guess it's viral, so here we are. By the way, how are we liking my facial hair? I've tried to grow it out and this is all we're giving. I used to do laser hair removal all the time, but do we like masculine Jeffrey? How are we feeling about Jeff? Okay, let me never do that voice again, unless that's my real voice. Okay, so today we're reviewing this. What the fuck is this? Reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles in just one week, bitch, I wish. Do you wanna take some pictures? Okay, for $42, you get this. The box was a little deceiving. I was like, ooh, it's big. And then you pull it out and it's underwhelming. You're supposed to put it on and leave your face expressionless, let it dry, and then there's supposed to be some amazing results. So. Let's get rid of his hair. Can you believe I'm still a man? Oh my God, <laughs> help. Okay, it's drying down, you guys. It says it needs three to seven minutes of me not moving or doing anything. So, oh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're zoomed in. No filter, of course. This says to shake well before use. Remain expressionless. Sparingly apply a thin layer to fresh cleanse skin. So. I didn't get to apply moisturizer. It says apply nothing. We're just gonna go in with half the face. Is this real? Is this worth $42? Let's fucking find out. That's sparingly to me, bitch. Okay. Let's do half the face or we're gonna remain expressionless. Oh my God. Is this full of shit? Let's find out. Okay, it's been eight minutes and bitch, there's a difference. I only did this side of the face, of course. It feels very tight, like like if someone were to like take me with tape and go like this, that's how it feels. Under my eyes, flawless. My pores are minimized. Like, hello? Okay, it actually did something. Cause I was like, this shit has to be a fucking lie. It did something. So let's uh, take a fucking sponge, Miss Thing. Let's pre-wet, bam, hi, she's already wet. And let's try some foundation quickly. 
Oh God, oh God, hurry. Here we go. I've been wearing makeup for over 20 years. This shit is disgusting. The primer ruined it. I do not recommend this and I actually hate myself. <laughs> Review over. No, but literally, no filter. This is disgusting oh hello everyone it's time for another review today we're trying jimmy choo yes the amazing fashion house they do makeup now and jimmy choo beauty they have just launched some new lip glosses they're 62 dollars yes they are girl we're about to give it a swirl but i was just filming another makeup tutorial for the motherfucking internet so we're gonna remove this stunning lip and we'll be right back oh, but your girl's hungry all right, here we go, Miss Girl. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. It's Jimmy Choo. Like, this is made in Italy, okay? This is very expensive. It's a bougie brand. I wear their heels often. And, oh, okay. Uh, whoa. That is custom. I appreciate a custom packaging moment. And I know you guys can't feel this through the bone. It's heavy. Like, bam, bam, boom. All right, you guys, there is 0.16 fluid ounces in here, and it's supposed to have a superior glide application, long-lasting and luxurious shine. Now, look at this. It looks like liquid diamonds in here. Is it going to be pretty? Give it a fucking swirl. Oh, look at the applicator. Cute. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's like the little sparkles instead of like big chunks, which I don't mind. Mmm, it's very like... S like slippery huh it's pretty but i kind of want to die you guys it just take the smell and the taste it's like oh i don't like it for 62 dollars girl the packaging is sickening the packaging is giving maybe like a 40 dollar moment the lip gloss is basic like hello, hello? who's that oh wet and wild yes i can't get over it I'm this is awful this is Okay, there's one more shade we have to try it. Also, we're still wrapping our stuff in plastic. The Earth's dying, this thing! Okay, sorry for screaming, you guys. I can't believe that was $62. Here's one more shade. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. It's pretty, and we're giving it a swirl. Let's try it over a lipstick. Here we go with the Velvet Trap Diet Mannequin. All right, let's watch Pastel Pink. Here it is, Miss Girl. Oh, oh, bitch, she's sheer. Okay, I can't, I can't. Oh my, I am fucking bored. Oh, hello TikTok. It's time for another unfiltered mother effing review. Now, for some reason, you bitches are obsessed with pink blush this year. I used to use blush as contour back in the MySpace days. People call it veiling now. No, bitch, I used to contour with blush. And now blush is trending. Why do you guys like this? I actually never tried this before. This is the famous Dior blush. And this thing, this is the new famous Too Faced blush. And I haven't used one of their products in a very long time. Thank God the owner is now kicked out of the brand. Smart move, Estee Lauder. So let's dive into this fucking review. So real quickly, we're gonna prep my skin with some moisturizer, foundation, and concealer so we can try on these blushes and see, are they worth it? One is $40 and one is $29. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, we're back. We're ready to try these blushes. Now, you guys, these are so small. One is 0 0.6 ounces and one is 0 0.17 ounces like are you kidding me they're really tiny they look like eyeshadow really that's the gag you guys love something that's 29 dollars it looks like eyeshadow oh my god so here's what miss two face is giving that is a very small pan and if you guys if no one else is telling you that this is a small pan they're being paid all right here's miss dior she's famous she's always sold out and she's 40 dollars now here's what we're not gonna do today ready all these holes are this is how they're doing it these days i can't i can't i can't all right you guys so we're gonna review this <gasps> oh my god it's so pretty that's what we're not gonna be doing on jeffree star's tiktok today you fake ass hoes okay so we're going right in with an hermes brush miss thing overpriced they make birkins and now they make makeup so here's dior we're gonna try dior on this side of my face bam 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 and we're gonna press the blush into our skin all you whores swiping around no baby no press it into your fucking skin okay for 40 dollars this is what y'all are obsessed with Okay, she's cute, not gonna lie, she's cute, but girl, is she like sickening? All right, now for $29, Miss Too Faced just came out with this one, Cloud Crush Girl, and you're all obsessed with it. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, is she good? Is Too Faced back? Do we like Too Faced again? Are they awful? 
Oh, this is really pretty. It's allegedly blurring. It's like, bitch, blur my pussy. Okay, the Too Faced side, you guys, it may be winning because this one it has a little luminosity. It's cute, but this might be a dupe. It's blurring. It's amazing. I used to hate Too Faced, and baby, I actually really love this blush. What do you guys think in the comments? Is Too Faced the winner or is Dior the winner? Oh, hell. We are gathered here today. We all know why we're here. We are here to try the $95 penis lipsticks. Yes, Miss Girl. This is what it looks like. For $95, this packaging is amazing. This is by a brand called Isamea Beauty. She is an international makeup artist. It says for external use only. This is a vegan formula and <laughs> a packaging A1. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So this comes with two shades. This is a new formula. <laughs> oh my God. Here is what the black one looks like. It is called a vanity. It is a black shimmer. Let's just grab her by the balls and get this bitch out of here. There's not many things I'm jealous of, but this is kind of fucking awesome. All right, how do you get the product out? Here we go. There's only two shades. This one is called vanity. It's allegedly a black shimmer. It's gonna give a veil of moisture on the lips. Let's dive into it. Now this formula is made in Italy. Let's go right in with no lip liner. Here we go. Huh. Oh. Oh. At first I was like, I'm not seeing it. But oh, she's pretty. All right, do we love it? Do we hate it? It's obviously not that pigmented. There is another shade, the cardinal red, and a silver component, and it looks like this. Let's give her a swatch. I just swatched the black one on my hand. It's a very sheer bitch, obviously. Oh, the red one is giving fucking pigment, bitch. Pigment. Okay, I'm dying to try the red shade. So, Miss Thing, let's dive into it. All right, let's go back in with Cardinal Red Satin now that we have our lip liner on. And, baby, I love this. I want to pull this out of my purse at any given time. Oh. Ooh, girl, I love this fucking red. Okay, hi, the red shade is stunning. Now, obviously, do we all have a million red lipsticks in our kit? Yes, I'm sure we do. So let's talk about our final thoughts. Now, what two penis lipsticks were the best? Clearly the red one, Miss Thing. The black one was really sheer. I think it needed a brown liner. I love this. So what is approved? The packaging and the formula is Jeffree Star approved. Now, am I really telling you guys to go out and get a $95 red lipstick? Absolutely not. But the packaging is so innovative, you guys. I also bought a lot of their other stuff. Look at their highlighter. Oh my God, packaging goals. So you guys, the dick lip